Welcome all. Please feel free to share this video if you think it would be of interest to your colleagues. I want to talk today about uh, some of the terminological differences that we have uh, across the English language teaching world, particularly the terms evaluation, assessment and feedback. In North America, the word evaluation is very often used to describe the way we measure students' performance. In the United Kingdom, in Australia, New Zealand, we generally use the term assessment. So evaluation has a different meaning in parts of the English-speaking world than it does in North America, likewise. Assessment and evaluation are sometimes used more as synonyms in the North American context. And you need to be aware of that when you read literature. If you read any of the journals, you will find that sometimes those terms are used differently to perhaps your context. So it's worth being aware of that. There's also a distinction between evaluation and feedback, which is more conceptual rather than definitional, which is that feedback is always what we give to the student. We should always be focusing on the feedback that's given to students on their learning. And evaluation in the UK, Canada, Canada to some extent, but certainly in Australia and New Zealand, is used to describe what they tell us about our own performance as tutors or about the course or the institution. So they provide evaluative comment and we provide them with feedback. I think it's important that we try and stick to that use of language. If only because students need to value feedback in everything they do. And it's much easier to label things as feedback for the benefit of your students if you're consistent in the language that you use. So feedback is given to students. Evaluation is provided by students. And evaluation in North America is sometimes synonymous with assessment. I hope that's of interest. Please uh, feel free to like, share, follow, be well.